Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you up here actually. I have not done any New Year's planning at all. I haven't done any goals, I haven't written down any dreams. I haven't really prepared myself for the new year at all, except for clean my room. I did clean my room a couple days ago. I feel very unprepared. I don't really know what I want to do. I don't really know what is going to happen this year. I don't know if it's going to be a good year. I don't know if it's going to be a bad year. I guess we'll see, but I figured out that I should probably journal about it and I should probably at least do a little bit of goal planning and a little bit of goal setting because if you don't set any goals, you'll never achieve anything honestly i feel like in order to do something you need to have a goal in mind and to have that mindset that you can do it so right now i'm about to watch a video i'm watching maya moini she put out like a little journaling and intentions for the new year video and i'm just watching it and i'm gonna journal and just see what comes out of it see if i feel a little bit more inspired for the new year and a little bit more just I don't know excited about it i don't feel very many emotions about it i don't feel excited i don't feel sad i don't feel doom but i don't feel like this oh it's a new year yes kind of thing that i feel like i do a lot of times so we'll see we'll see what happens but for now i'm just gonna film this and enjoy <laughs> i have a lot of big dreams so when i first started journaling i really didn't think that I was going to be able to write about much because I just didn't even know what to write about. In the video that Moya made, she said to do three things. First, to write down your dream, and then to, number two, deconstruct the dream, and then number three, do the dream. Or rather, like, have different specific, you know, things to do for the dream. So I ended up making um, three different lists. A list of big life dreams, smaller dreams, and then something to achieve slash do. And I ended up being able to write like a ton about all of these things and it's just really nice to get them all out of my brain. And also, another little exercise that she has you do is to write in the present tense as if you're a year in the future. So basically write down the date January, it was January 4th, 2023 and write pretend it's a year later and like all the things that you have done in last year or like where you're at in life and it's just like a way of like thinking about it in a way of like this is where i want to be in a year and that kind of thing so this was really helpful <laughs> okay so i just journaled for a little bit i'm feeling a little bit better yes i'm definitely feeling a little bit better um i'll keep you updated though i'm not done yet <laughs> wow i look extremely pasty right now it looks like i have no hair i just have my hair in a bun but i think i've realized something i think i've realized that i'm having like this JC talks about it a lot on the What You Said podcast of like there's so many things I could be doing so I just do nothing. I think I have that feeling with the new year because there's so many things that I could do. There's so many possibilities, things that I could become really good at, things that I could go do, things I could achieve, places I could go, people I could meet that it just feels all kind of overwhelming that I feel like I just don't want to do anything this year. So I just made a list of like a bunch of little goals and like big life dreams and then like small goals for the year and I think I just need to decide to focus on a couple of them and just work on those for the next couple months and see how that goes so I think that's what I'm gonna do hello peeps um please excuse my parents right now it is on my agenda to do my hair because I slept in this braid last night and so now it's just kind of like mm. A little bit of a rat's nest but that's okay anyways i just wanted to hop on here because i am going to hopefully be taking you guys along with me today for some different things of um, me getting ready for a new semester i start school again next tuesday january 18th is my first day of classes which i'm like looking forward to but i'm also not because i've been having a great time just chilling at home all christmas break i really haven't done anything that exciting but um, I just wanted to show you some things that I'm doing to get ready for a new semester and kind of just organize my life for a new year. So yeah, that's it. That's about it. <laughs> if you want to like and subscribe to my channel, go ahead down below, turn those post notifications on, and follow my Instagram if you want. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're having a good day. I'm going to take you along with me.
Okay, first I might to do was to get my classes organized. So I have them all like written down in here. Oh, this is not a class. Um, anyways, I have them all written down in here and I want to go through and like put down the instructor, what time we're meeting and like any details that I have about the class to start. I won't get my syllabi, syllabi until next week, but I want to at least get started on this. I'm also just trying to organize my notion and like get it nice again, get all the old stuff off of here from the last semester and put new roles and new to do lists in here. So Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Time to make up my hair out. It's a nice little wavy situation. No, 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 let me do my makeup. I haven't done my makeup in like, actually it's only been since Sunday, which is three days, because today is Wednesday. So it's only been three days, but I haven't done my makeup in a while, it feels like. So let's get pretty. <laughs> Now it's time to clean and be addressed because it's kind of a mess in here. So, okay, so let me show you over here. This is my outfit for today. We're gonna airy set. I feel very adorable and cute. I got these for my Christmas pajamas for my parents. Yeah, from Airy. I feel like a tech cozy teddy bear. I love it. Anyways, right now I need to clean this disaster, clean my bed, get myself organized. And then put these bins in the attic up there but the attic is a very scary place so i'm gonna have to be brave and get those bins up there because i don't really want to do it but i really need to just that way my room has some more space again so yeah let's go gone so I need to take care of some of Amazon boxes and just like I need a vacuum in here take care of that stuff clean off this and then we should be good all right so there's a couple like little projects that I've been needing to do 
a couple and they're not really projects they're just like clothes that i've been needing to repair so i'm gonna do that in this video too it's gonna add it to it so first i need to repair this shirt it has a hole in the side so i'm just gonna like sew it shut real quick so yeah i'm gonna watch my show I'm watching lost in space right now it's on netflix it's actually pretty good a little cheesy but pretty good show me you do But not terrible. No, there's no problem in my shirt. So, it's exciting. Next project. I wanted to crop this one. You can't keep me far away for I'm just gonna start off short. So, I'm just gonna cut a little bit off and then try it on and then see how it looks and then cut more if I need to. Okay, so it's not exactly cropped, but I did cut it, so it's kind of like a boxy loose fit, which is exactly what I want, because then I can tuck it in. It doesn't show off my whole entire belly, which is perfect. Cozy. I love this. I thrifted this like six months ago, and I just haven't worn it because it's been way too long, but now it's perfect. Awesome. I'm taking a quick little break to eat lunch, and then I'll be back to it. Now to clean up the rest of this. Okay, Claude just helped me bring those books, those bins up to the base, up to the attic or whatever. Found some books up there I want to keep down in my room. Add to the book stack. I'm going to get another one of those shelves to put up there so I can put all those books up there eventually, but we're working on it. Everything in here gets so dusty so easily. not make me look forward to having my own place. <laughs> Wiping everything down constantly. <laughs> the plant needs some water. It's getting all droopy. <laughs> stuff to like take care of but i'm just gonna wait until all the candy and stuff is gone i just have some things i need to hang up on the wall but other than that it is pretty awesome in here i wiped down my desk um that i need to take just some stuff downstairs put some stuff away put the vacuum away then we're all good my room is all nice and clean for the new semester okay so i'm gonna pick this video back up tomorrow because i'm gonna try and go to target tomorrow to get a couple things that i need for school i need some new pens and you know target run never hurt nobody but um i have to go to work in a bit so i'll see you guys later good morning guys um it is friday so two days later i didn't film yesterday because i really didn't do anything super productive yesterday anyways i'm going i woke up at six this morning it is now what is it eight o'clock i went to the gym went to the y worked out now i'm on i went to tim hortons it is my mom's birthday this morning so I went and brought her like a muffin and different things from there for like a little birthday breakfast kind of thing. And now, sorry, my arm is hurting so bad from working out. I can't hold my camera up while I'm driving. Now I'm headed to Target. So here we go. Having a great what we said day. It's all I listen to. Chelsea's voice. Hi guys, I'm JC. Nice to meet you. Welcome back. Not know why, but I think this is hilarious for me. And right there. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. This is adorable. And I like these too. I don't know. Target just always has such cute stuff. In the $5 section. There you go, though. I never meet of it. This is adorable. They have all their swimmer already. And look at their stuff. So cute. Target swim is the best. Target has such trendy stuff now. Like the flare. These like chunky knit sweaters, I specifically like this one. It's very cute. And like all these knits over here, just so trendy and colorful and adorable. 
Beep, beep, not bees. I love it. That's awesome. This shirt isn't really my style, but it is so cute. It's like a box. I'm not gonna get it because I'm probably gonna wear it that much. But this is a target. I sell for like $9. Dollars. The pens. This is what I need. This is the only thing that I really need that I came here for. But you know, you find things you don't need at Target too that you buy, and that's okay. <laughs> wow, I haven't had a car wash in so long. This is awesome. <laughs> here it comes. I'm kind of terrified. first go around was well, scary man let me tell you <laughs> oh. hey guys um, I know this is terrible quality and I'm in the middle of editing right now but first I'm sorry for being so dramatic in the car wash but I was terrified I literally haven't been to a car wash in like five years I normally just go to the one that you do by yourself where you like get out and like spray it down yourself and all that kind of thing Anyways, I just wanted to end the video. I hope you're having a great week, a great start to the new year, um, new semester if you're in school, um, you know, working hard at your job, whatever you're doing. I wish you all the best. Jesus loves you, and I hope you have a good day. Bye!